Damaris. And I am the ambivalent CrossFitter. And you're watching vlog number 34. Whew. Look at that bright sun. Can we do something about that? Maybe a little bit. Out of the four days in this work week, I made it to the gym the first two and have yet to make it the last two. We'll see what tomorrow holds. It's not looking good tomorrow. Taking a different route, so it's more sunny. Ugh. It's mucho sol. Yeah, so I ended up, not ended up, I knew I was gonna work late last night. I usually start work at 8.30, get off at 5.30. Um, but we're having an event at work, doing it again tonight. That requires me to be there. Actually, not really requires me. They ask. And I said yes because I like to help. And I do it with a smile. Actually, I had a lot of fun. It was super fun. Oh, forgot earrings. So that event goes from 7 to 11, and then it requires some cleanup afterwards. So I didn't make it home till about 11.30 last night. And then I was kinda keyed up. I doubt it had anything to do with the coffee I drank at like seven. Couldn't be. So I probably didn't fall asleep till about two in the morning. I made a terrible choice. Tonight I will not be drinking the coffee. Hopefully I'll be able to just pass out as soon as I get home. So needless to say, this morning when my alarm went off at 4.50, I just did this. Ugh. Because I had just gone to sleep. So yesterday I talked about the identity crisis. It got me to thinking about what I said about being the person that loves to support vision. And how lucky I am that I have just that job. I work for a brilliant, like mind-boggling, brilliant woman. And I get to support her vision and the systemic changes she's making in the area. It is amazing and a privilege and I love it. Such a great job. And that got me to thinking about some of the other amazing women that I have had the privilege to work for or with from the very beginning of my career. One of those women was my boss for almost 10 years. My kids still call her Grandma Bev. She impacted my life in a way that nobody has because she did it at such an early age. She did it in my 20s. And she did it with such kindness and humbleness. She put up with so much stuff from me. I started to cry. When I was messing up all the time, when I didn't have my life together at all, she always encouraged me and she always, she just always loved me. This amazing friend and second mom is just, just so impactful in my life. And she always taught me how to keep going. No matter how hard it gets, you keep going. And I've really taken that to heart in every area of my life. Obviously, I've had a, a bunch of other women come into my life that are strong and intelligent and making a difference in the world but Beverly was the first one. Maybe this vlog is gonna turn into the women in Damaris's life that shaped her. And the men, there's been some really great men that have um, encouraged me as well. And it, you know how things rabbit trail. I was thinking about vision, how lucky I am to work for my current supervisor. And then I started thinking about Bev, who just changed my life. That's keeping it real. Thanks for watching.